Hello and welcome to RadioTimes.com's TV100 Live Reveal. Every year we work with industry executives to determine the top 100 people from the world of television who've gone above and beyond to change the entertainment landscape for the better. This year we've made TV100 history, so stay tuned right here to find out who's topped our list. Without further ado, coming in at number 10 is the woman who's simply everywhere at the moment, Hannah Waddingham. Next up at number 9 is the man behind Succession, it's writer Jesse Armstrong. Fans of The Bear will be happy to hear Ayo Adibiri is in at number 8. We're definitely faithfuls here with Claudia Winkleman following in at 7. At 6 is the genius behind all those Happy Valley twists and turns, it's of course Sally Wainwright. Taking the 5th spot is last year's TV100 champion Shooty Gatwa. It was voted RadioTimes.com's show of the year and The Last of Us has also made it onto our list with Bella Ramsey coming in at 4. We're getting to the nitty gritty now. In third place is Catherine Kaywood herself, Sarah Lancashire. Just missing out on the top spot is the standout of Succession season four, no easy feat, it's Kieran Culkin. And that leaves first place. When this show first aired on New Year's Day 2024, no one could really expect the impact it would have. The ensemble behind this show are the definition of change makers. And that's why, for the first time in TV100 history, we're giving the top spot to a group. Of course, it goes to the entire team behind Mr. Bates versus the post office. I mean, it's hard to think of a time where a TV show has had such an impact like Mr. Bates versus the post office. Maybe it's a sin most mm. recently. What did you make of the, the show? Yeah, it sort of came out of nowhere a little bit. I don't think anyone expected it to have the impact that it had. Not only was it an incredibly moving, powerful piece of drama, but also the real world impact that it's had after broadcast is unlike anything I think we've seen, certainly for a very, very long time. So definitely a deserving winner. Yeah, and I think it sort of caught almost immediately as soon as it launched to hit mm. the news cycle. And that's testament to not just the fantastic storytelling, but the performances as mm. well. You know, you've got the likes of Toby Jones, Monica Dolan, pulling out BAFTA winning performances, mm. right? And, and I think it's fantastic that TV drama can have that impact. Of course, people watched it and they thought this is an incredible piece of drama. But as I say, it has had that real world impact and continues to. The story is still still evolving, still ongoing. And it's made, you know, household names of Alan Bates, Joe Hamilton, mm. Lee Castleton and onwards. I mean, Joe Hamilton was at the Brits the other week. <laughs> it's <crazy. laughs> it's, it's crazy. sort of incredible the that the show impact. has, you know, propelled these real people. They've given them a voice, which yeah. I think was the most important. And it shows the power that drama has to hopefully make the world a better place. Yeah, and I think we're probably going to see a little bit more of this going forward. We're mm. going to see uh, ITV tackling the blood scandal. Mm. I th do you think this is going to shape how TV is going to look over the next few years? I think so. I think the success, the impact of Mr. Bates has been incredible. So I think we may enter a new era of social issue drama. And I think that's a great thing. Yeah. Well, congratulations to the team behind Mr. Bates versus the post office. I think we can all agree it's a very worthy winner. To see the full TV100 list, head over to radiotimes.com right now. And while you're there, check out all of our news and exclusives. And let us know what you think of the list on X at Radio Times.